Hi there, welcome back to this video series on how to create a first person game in UE5. This video we will discuss how to create a slide mechanic and build off of the sprint mechanic and crouch mechanic that we talked about in previous videos. So we're going to start by creating a new input and we're going to do input action and we're going to call this an IA slide. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is go to our input mapping context and click the plus symbol for mapping. And we're going to add our IA slide. I, um, I misspelled it, so I'm going to go back in here and rename this IA underscore slide. Okay, so back in my input mapping context, now I can find IA slide properly. You can determine what you want to use for slide. Let's do, um, let's see, right mouse button. So we're going to hold down right mouse button. And when I hold down right mouse button, we can slide, you can use tab, you can use anything else. Well, let's just use right mouse button for right now. So if I hold down right mouse button, I'm going to slide. When I let go of my right mouse button, I'm not going to slide. So you can use whatever you want uh, for this. Um, all right, so we're going to back out. We're going to save. We're going to go into our character blueprint. We're going to use kind of a combination of crouch and sprint that we previously done. So if you want to go back and look at those previous videos, you can look at how we did those. But this will be kind of a combination of those two. So I'm going to right click and search for IA slide. And if I click on the action event, I'm going to be using started and completed. So I am going to use crouch, but I'm going to be editing the crouch um, max crouch walk speed and then the crouch height as well. So from started, I'm going to search for crouch. And completed, I'm going to search for uncrouch. Okay, so same idea as what we did before. Crouch and uncrouch. Okay, so for sliding, I want to move the camera down. That's why I'm using crouch. And then I'm going to come in here and I search for crouch. I want to increase the max walk speed crouch to the same speed as whatever my slide, my sprint speed is, so it makes it look like it's going faster. And I also want to keep my crouch height, half height. So for crouch, I want to <clears throat> drag out from the crouch and uh, let's say, first off, let's drag our character movement in here. And then from that, now we're going to find max walk speed crouched. Well, not that. Set max walk speed. Set max walk speed crouched. There you go. Make sure we do the set one. And then from there, I'm also going to um, set crouch half height. Okay, so something like that. And we can double click on the pins to make it easier to see. There you go. So when I go into crouch mode, I don't want to slow down the character. I want to increase the character. I previously created a sprint speed. I X out of the details. Uh, my sprint speed is set to 1200. So I want to drag in my sprint speed into the set max walk speed crouched. You can also just type in 1200 there. So when I go to slide, I want to crouch down. But I want to increase my speed of my character. And then I want to maybe lower my character's height even more. So from 15 is what it was up from crouching. So let's do 5. Crouch half height to 5. And then we're going to drag our executable from the set max walk speed crouch to the set crouch half height. And then when I uncrouch, I want to set them back to their defaults. So let's copy these two set crouch speeds and height. I need to sync up my character movements again, so let's connect these. We will double click on that one to create a pin. Something like that. Create another pin there. Okay. And when I let go of slide, I want to reset these. So I have a walk speed variable. If you don't have a, a variable, you can click this variable button. Uh, we can call this one walk. I'm just going to do it for example, walk speed 2. And then you can change the Boolean type to float. You can hit compile. 
and then you can change that float variable to 600 is what mine is as default. I already have one, so I'm going to delete that second one out. So I'm going to drag my walk speed, which is 600, and then put that back to, or drag that into the max walk speed crouched. And then I'm going to reset my crouch half height back to what it was as default, which was 15 for mine. Compile and save. Okay, I'm going to add one more variation. Uh, one that, so like I don't sp uh, spam click sliding and have a delay that will make the player have to wait a second before I can crouch again or slide again. So to do that at the end of my crouch, I'm going to drag out from the set crouch half height and we're going to add a delay, which is just the second timer or timer. And as default, as 0.2 seconds, we're going to increase that to one second. So one second delay. And then I'm going to drag from completed and type in uncrouch. So I'll get back to my regular kind of walking standpoint. Okay, so we can kind of condense this down a little bit. Maybe we can see it a little easier. There we go. All right, so there's our rough setup. Move this a little bit. When I hit my slide button, uh, which was my right click, we'll make sure that works. We're gonna go into crouch and then increase the speed, lower the crouch half height, and then delay one second and then uncrouch. And then when I let go, if I'm still within that one second, I'm going to uh, uncrouch and go back to my default walk speed and default crouch half height. So we can compile. We can drag select this and hit C for comment and say we'll slide. We'll add maybe a yellowy color to this. And let's go test this out. Compile and save. Accept and play. So when I'm walking and if I hold down the right click button, I go into a slide mode. And if I'm running, I can also go into a slide mode, but after one second, it's going to go back to my regular height. So that way I can't spam slide, but that's just a choice. Okay. So that's kind of a nice way to add a slide function. There's other ways to do it as well, but this is a simple and easy way to add slide uh, in UE5, a first person point of view game.